Hey guys, it's Pat here, Bassmaster1990, uh, coming at you with a review of uh, Anarchist Wire. And uh, I know I've been gone for a, a long while, and um, it's been because I've been so busy. New job, new schedules, getting married, so planning all that stuff out. So um, I'm here to do a review of Anarchist, and only because I haven't heard too much about it and not in depth the way I would, you know, want to hear about it. So I picked some of this up and I got it from uh, VaporDNA.com. Uh, it's 22 gauge anarchist wire and I'm going to show you like the differences in the anarchist wires versus other competition wires such as like Royal Wire and uh, regular Canthal. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, take a look, we'll go down up close and I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so here we are up close and personal with the uh, Anarchist wire. Uh, here is the 22 gauge build I did on here. This is 22 gauge wrapped six times over a three millimeter post. Um, and just for comparison purposes, I do have Royal wire. This is 24 gauge, so we are going up a little bit in gauge. Uh, also wrapped six times around the uh, same three millimeter drill bit or yeah, three millimeter post. Uh, you can tell obviously because it is a higher gauge that the 22 millimeter anarchist wire is going to take up a little bit more surface area. So you can just tell that just from looking at it. And uh, looking at it here, um, the anarchist wire is a lot a lot shinier than the um, than the royal wire. This being the royal, this being an anarchist. Um, it works great. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, I have a Mutation X V2 deck here. Uh, and I have another Mutation X V2 um, already with a build in it of 22 gauge Anarchist wire. I'm not going to um, redo it because I really like this build. So I will go ahead and show you what the ohm resistance are so you can get kind of an idea if you like using the uh, Royal wire at a certain uh, ohm level. This will give you an idea of what you should use for Anarchist wire. Um, Royal Gold is the same for like G-Plat or Hot Wires, it's pretty much the same thing. So let me get it installed, the Royal Wire installed in this V2 here, and we'll take it from there. Alright guys, so we're back here again, and I got the Royal Wire 6 wrap 24 gauge in the Mutation X V2 here, all glowing evenly when firing, uh, and then I got the one already 22 gauge Anarchist Wire uh, wrapped over the 3 millimeter. Uh, bit as well. Uh, I'm not going to rebuild this one like I said before uh, just because I like the build I have in there and you're just gonna have to take my word it's the same exact thing I have here which is the three I'm sorry uh, six wrap over the three millimeter uh, bit again. So um, this should ohm out at a point 0.13 ohms. These are both Mutation X V2s by the way. Um, so this should ohm out about 0.13 ohms. So as you can see there, so looks pretty nice. And then if we look at it here, we'll take this. This should ohm out at a boy, about 0.14 to 0.15 ohms. Yep, 0.14. Now I assume if this anarchist wire was 24 gauge, the same as the royal wire here, this would probably be about 0.19 to 0.2 ohms. Um, if I were to have the same 24 gauge, but I wanted to have around the same ohm rating I get with the Royal Wire, uh, which as you just saw was 0.14 ohms. So, like I said before, so this is going to work a little bit differently than like the Royal or G-Plat or Hot Wires or anything like that, uh, but the Anarchist Wire is a lot cleaner in my opinion, um, a lot easier to work with, it's a lot thicker in my opinion, obviously, because it is 22 gauge, but um, I like working with the Anarchist strictly basing. It's a little bit cheaper for the uh, square footage you get, and you also get, um, excuse me, better flavor in my opinion. So we'll take this back up top, and we can see what the difference is in uh, vape quality. All right, guys. One thing I did forget to mention in the close-ups, and I'm kind of kicking myself in the teeth for it, is um, something weird with the nichrome. Um, so when you read the voltage, or I'm sorry, the ohms at the 0.13 watts, I have to mention it was cold, meaning hasn't been fired in a while. Now, when it gets warm and it has been fired, 
it does something strange where it drops, it says the ohm is zero. I don't know if that's a standard thing with nichrome or if it's just something with this wire. Uh, if someone could please elaborate on that, um, you know, please let me know. Um, but here, let me just get it warmed up and I'll uh, definitely, I'll show you on the uh, voltage reader here. So one moment. That might be good enough. So let me take a look here. So I just got it fired. So yeah, it started off at 0 0.01 now. So, and now, it, see, it's moving up to 0 0.3, so on and so forth. And it's just really strange. I've never seen that happen before. But now it's going up to 0 0.5, so on and so forth. I know this is going to be, I think this might be backwards on video. But as you can see, it's slowly moving up. So it's at 0 0.6, 0 0.07. And then it'll go to 0 0.08. Now I've done this where it's gotten all the way up to 0 0.0, um, 0 0.01, I'm sorry, 0 0.13. I've gotten it all the way up there and it has not moved from there. So I don't know if that's like a resting ohm rating or what happened, but if someone could please elaborate on that, you know, let me know. So moving on, um, yeah, anarchist wire. Um, they say it's a higher form of nichrome with, uh, you know, uh, the best kind or the best level of uh, uh, nickel in there, the highest grade nickel you can get. Um, whether or not that's true, I honestly don't know, but I can tell you that it performs great, and it also doesn't turn funny colors like it does with the uh, Royal or G Plat wires. It, you know, when you burn it, it doesn't like turn like a hazy blue or something like that. And it doesn't turn black really fast like regular Campbell. Um, so it, it's really super clean. And then when you dry burn it off, it goes back to its normal like silver type finish, um, which I really like. But, I mean, this stuff is nice to work with, easy to use, vapes great, has great flavor. I'm using it on the Mutation X V2 here on the uh, Sig Green dual box here, but it works fantastic. Let me just show you the uh, production, just for shits and giggles. Uh, let me show you the production on the Royal that I just showed you in the close-ups. So let me do that. Get my drip tip all situation, situ, situated. I can't talk today. So this, again, is a Mutation X V2. Same airflow setting. It still works great. Um, if you're a fan of Royal or G-Plat, you know, I'm not knocking it in any way. Um, I just feel that the Anarchist is a little bit better. But also keep in mind that it is 22-gauge Anarchist wire I'm using, and this is 24-gauge Royal wire. Um, so if you're looking around the same resistance that you get with, like, Royal or G-Plat, if you don't even use those, if you stick with Canthal, that's fine, too. But if you are looking for, like, the same type of resistance you're getting with, um... Royal or G Plat, go with a 22 gauge versus a 24 gauge. Um, so, that being said, that's all I gotta say. Um, hope you guys find this uh, video informative, and hopefully, you know, if you are interested, I answered some of your questions. But if you have any other questions, fe please feel free to leave questions in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks, guys.